This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. Warning, vulgarity awaits. For our we, I mean monthly lecture. So automatic guns are pretty shit slayery. There's nothing better than going Rambo and gunning down whatever is in front of you with your very own automatic weapons. I mean, the automatic laser and plasma rifles can even vaporize whatever's in front of you, leaving a nice and easy pile for the cleanup detail. With the right legendary effects, even dumbass raiders will need to press a special red button and say, quote, help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Or... <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry. Or raiders will bleed to death with the wounding effect, or explode to death with the meat tenderizing properties of the explosive effect. Is the explosive effect gross? Yeah. Is it awesome? Oh yeah. I think for the most part, all I'm trying to say here is that you really can't go wrong with automatic weapons in Fallout 4, and for the most part, automatic weapons are pretty, you know, shit slayery. But there is just one automatic weapon that leads to the seepage of everyone's anal glands. This gun is a lie, and while I love Bethesda, they've gotta be pulling some kind of prank here. I mean, seriously, all that's left now is for Todd Howard to randomly comment on this video saying, quote, it's just a prank, bro, just a prank. Therefore, I present to you the submachine gun, and by extension, the spray and pray submachine gun. There is so much misplaced hype around the spray and pray and its submachine gun brethren that any sane person might just lose it and go around saying, what a boatload of bias. But to be fair to all the people that like submachine guns and have been properly conned by Bethesda into loving the spray and pray, I'll mention that there are at least two uh, just two positive things about both the spray and pray and submachine gun. First, the submachine gun and spray and pray can have a 100 round quick eject magazine, which I'll even admit is it's pretty badass. Second, just like all of you guys got conned into thinking that the submachine gun was amazing, the settlers and vendors in the Commonwealth also think that this gun is amazing and will pay top dollar for this pile of fuck. With all that shit out of the way, let's go ahead and boil the submachine gun down to its essence. I hereby claim that the submachine gun slash spray and pray is virtually a redundant and hellaciously worth its weapon in virtually every other way than previously mentioned. Did you know that a fully upgraded submachine gun deals the same amount of damage as a fully upgraded automatic pipe pistol or rifle even when both weapons have the explosive effect? Furthermore, both the automatic pipe rifle and submachine gun have the same fire rate, meaning that both essentially have the same damage per second. And as an added bonus, if you compare a fully upgraded automatic pipe rifle to a submachine gun, the submachine gun has less than half the range at a value of 77 compared to the pipe rifle's 161 range. The submachine gun is also less accurate as the value is 71 versus the automatic pipe rifle 76 and weighs an additional 11 pounds, clocking in at 17.3 pounds for the submachine gun versus the automatic pipe rifle's weight of 6.3 pounds. That's even leaving out the fact that 38 caliber ammo costs a third. Let me just repeat that. 38 caliber ammo costs a third of what 45 caliber ammo costs and is located virtually everywhere and anywhere you can slaughter a bunch of raiders or low level enemies. Why would you pay three times what you need to to use a submachine gun which is on par with a gun that you got at the very beginning of Fallout 4 when you went into Concord? I also figured if we're talking about 45 caliber ammo, we should also really take the time to talk about the automatic combat rifle. The fully upgraded automatic combat rifle deals 21 more damage per shot, even though the submachine gun has a higher rate of fire of 127 versus the automatic combat rifle's fire rate of 90. 
What's also interesting is that a fully upgraded combat rifle has the same accuracy and range as an automatic pipe rifle, even when both are suppressed. This means that the automatic combat rifle is also better than the submachine gun when it comes to both range and accuracy. While it's true you're not getting three times the damage out of the automatic combat rifle, you're still getting almost double the damage of the submachine gun, even with the combat rifle's slightly lower fire rate. Now, keep in mind also that you're making better use of that relatively expensive 45 caliber ammo as well. Assuming that you're gonna have to pay three bottle caps for 45 caliber round, wouldn't you rather each round deal double the damage? So, in summary, the submachine gun and by extension the spray and pray submachine gun are both a pain in the ass to get and it's not really any better and in fact it's actually worse than a fully upgraded explosive automatic pipe pistol slash rifle. Now, I didn't really mention this earlier, but provided the spray and pray was actually an explosive automatic pipe rifle, it would cost roughly a third, a third of what you currently have to pay for the spray and pray while having similar damage and fire rate with virtually better stats all around at a much lower weight. Ultimately, fuck the submachine gun Long live the automatic pipe rifle. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. And as always, take care and I'll see y'all next time.